So I first met Michael in, I guess, 2004. It's 15 years ago now. And that was at the Canadian Guitar Festival. And so I saw Michael and his instruments were set up and I was just drawn to them. They, they looked amazing. I mean, you just look at these things, they look like works of art, you know, really. I had to ask him, can I try one of your guitars? He said, okay, just don't bang around on it too much or something, you know. <laughs> I played it a bit and was just amazed with the sound and the playability. And I was hoping, well, maybe one day I could save up for one of those guitars. And Well, anyway, a few years went by and we had dinner at an Indian restaurant and uh, decided to start working together at that point. And so I've been playing Michael's guitar since about 2008. Played all over the world in 45 different countries, you know, and they go with me everywhere. My main stage guitar has been the uh, Greenfield G4, which I have three of those now. I also have a G4 baritone, which is that one with the color shifting paint. Uh, I also have a G2 baritone. Maybe you've seen that one with the green back. And then I also have a harp guitar from Michael and also a soprano guitar that he built for me. When you see someone who's spent a lot of time and invested a lot of their time to become skilled at something, you recognize it. And Michael is one of the finest builders on the planet, without a doubt. Every instrument that he's ever made for me has just been like a work of art, like a, some sort of artifact. They're really unique and individual instruments, each one that he builds. He's helped me find my own sound too, really. I had to search around until I could find a guitar really that was the voice that I wanted, the way that I play the guitar. I'm just so honored and, and pleased uh, to be able to announce the Andy McKee signature guitar. We've actually got a, two models. There's, there's a Rylan model as well. So the G4 is essentially like a jumbo guitar body. It adds uh, more bass response and gives it a really full sound. I've always enjoyed uh, playing the jumbos in sort of an acoustic setting. If, if you're not even plugged in, I think it really gets a, a great volume. It's got uh, the bevels that I really like to have on there. This is for comfort, so when you're playing the guitar for hours on end, you don't end up with one of those lines in your arm. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And then these, this one here, this little rib rest too, so it's the same sort of thing, but doesn't cut into your chest while you're playing for hours on end. Another uh, benefit of working with Michael over the years has been uh, his ability to adjust the construction of the guitars to whatever I might want or ask of him. And so some of the times, you know, I do percussion on the guitar and Michael reinforces the soundboard to help offset any potential damage I could do. Also has a fan fret guitar neck and so, or it's sometimes called a multi-scale guitar neck. And the idea behind this is to help with the intonation of the guitar so it plays more in tune all across the fretboard. The frets themselves have to be fanned out so that the intervals are in the right location for each scale so that length of the string is more appropriate for the pitch that it's tuned to. You know, the first time I played a guitar with this, I was on the road with Don Ross many years ago and he had a baritone guitar with a fan fret neck. And rather than taking multiple guitars, baritones on the road, I just played his. I found that the whole fan fret thing is really quite comfortable. It's kind of ergonomic anyway as you move up and down the neck your wrist kind of slides like that anyway. You can detune down to even C or B and be quite good there. You can hear. And one of the other great things about the Greenfields is they're extremely reliable. That's extremely valuable when you're going out to a new country and you got people coming to see you play. You gotta have a guitar that's ready to rock with you. All of the uh, Andy McKee signature guitars also come with Ernie Ball guitar strings. That's the medium gauge, that's what I use. That's 13 to 56. So since these guitars are designed to have these lower pitches and, and altered tunings, putting on a, a set that's a medium gauge, you really don't notice it. It's still very playable without having a really struggle with the strings and have a really high tension or anything. It's really set up for this kind of string. The Rylan model is quite similar, but the only differences are it doesn't have the bevels and it has a different back and sides, which is wangy. And this is Macassar Ebony, which I have on my guitars. 
Both models will come with a certificate of authenticity, which will be signed by me and Michael Greenfield. You also receive a USB drive, which will be loaded with transcriptions of my music. So very honored and pleased to say that I've got a signature guitar with Michael Greenfield now.